Hi everybody, my name is Kaylin and welcome back to the Pollinator Series with Heritage Conservancy. So far in this series, we have learned about different types of pollinators and what they do, as well as what flowers they like and how we can help them. Today, we are going to talk about a very special pollinator, the monarch butterfly. You might recognize the monarch butterfly as this orange and black butterfly right here. These butterflies are super interesting because they do something called migration. To migrate means to move from one place to another. You might be asking yourself, why do they migrate? Wouldn't it be a lot easier for them to stay where they are? Now, not all monarchs migrate. Monarchs that emerge in the late summer and early fall have to migrate because as winter approaches, they run out of food and the weather gets cold. When the days get shorter and the temperature gets cooler, the butterflies know that they need to find a warmer place to call home. Monarch butterflies that emerge early in the spring and summer will only live for a few weeks after laying their eggs. Once the monarchs sense that it is time for them to travel, they begin making their way south to Mexico, some of them traveling up to 3,000 miles. Along the way, they stop for food and shelter. It is important that the butterflies eat along the way so that they have enough energy for the trip and because they eat very little once they reach their destination. Once they arrive, they will gather on the Oyamel fir tree where they will wait out the winter. Once the winter is over, they head back up north, laying eggs along the way. This creates the next generation of monarch butterflies. The lives of these butterflies are incredibly fascinating. How exactly do we know that they migrate and where they go? One way that we know that they migrate is that we can tag them to identify individuals. When tagging a butterfly, a very small sticker with a unique code is placed on the butterfly. When placed correctly, this tag does not hurt them in any way or disrupt their ability to fly. Tagging monarch butterflies is done to determine where the butterflies come from, the timing and pace of their travel, and where they end up. The butterflies are tagged, released, and recaptured and identified at different points in their migration. Monarch Watch is the organization that organizes all of the monarch tagging data to be used in research. To learn more, visit monarchwatch.org. The data that is collected gives scientists a great deal of information such as the migration path, the timing of the migration, the influence of the weather, and the number of butterflies that actually reach their destination. Monarch tagging and tracking is done a great deal by volunteers. Check out the news and events section on our website for monarch tagging events in the fall and to sign up for other community science volunteer opportunities like this. Understanding monarch migration and population sizes is extremely important because as of July 2022, migratory monarch butterflies are listed as an endangered species by the International Union for Conservation of Nature. This means that this butterfly is getting closer to extinction if action is not taken to curb climate change and restore its habitats. There is still hope though. One of the best ways that you can help monarchs is to plant milkweed. Milkweed is the only plant that monarch caterpillars will eat, so it is essential to their survival. Limiting the use of pesticides and herbicides in your yard and garden is another way that you can help save monarch butterflies. For more videos and activities like this, check out Heritage Conservancy's At Home With Nature page. Thank you for joining Heritage Conservancy to learn about pollinators.